What's going on everyone? This is Sly here with Flo and today we're going to talk about Kamoko Ture. We've had two days of mini camp and Flo, Kamoko Ture, he's been our best pass rusher. Obviously we know that Nick Bosa is not really doing the one-on-one -on -one, so we don't have him there. But Ture, he licks the part man. Yesterday absolutely abusing Gutierrez. You know Gutierrez probably won't make the team but the fact that he was just going around on it time and time again. He, remember last week OTAs dominating Jalen Moore, abusing him. Today, same thing. Colton McKivitz getting around him like nothing. He's looking like he might be the new D4 for us. What do you think, man? Yeah, man, obviously me and you talked about this when he was a free agent that we're like, dude, John Lynch has to go after this guy. This guy is a legit freaking pass rusher. He was a second round pick. Remember that, guys, but he was hurt. He wasn't able to have that production, mostly due to injuries, but me and you, Sly, we knew that he had a high freaking motor, that he was constantly around the ball. He always didn't always get to finish the playoff, but he was always there, and I really liked his uh, motor getting to that quarterback, that pass rushing ability, and he's showing it to be able to get this guy for that uh, contract. What did we sign him for? I just remember it was on the cheap, mm -hmm. and I was like, dude, we have to take a shot at this, and it's paying dividends already. Hopefully, he keeps it up and just uh, does this the whole season. What do you think, Sly? Yeah, man, obviously, this guy... Like you said, he was a second-round pick. And last year with the Indianapolis Colts, he probably had his best season. Five and a half sacks. He had a better pass um, pressure weight rate than what, who's Arden Key. Right. So, yeah. So, he was definitely getting to that quarterback. Obviously, he wasn't finishing all the time. But still, five and a half sacks is pretty solid. And that's what we need. You know, we need guys five and a half sacks here, five and a half sacks there. So, if we could get that all around different players and then have Nick Bosa get his 10-plus, we're going to have a badass pass rushing team so the fact that he's doing this early and often he looks explosive what we're hearing from jack what we're hearing from grant that he is just looking like the part you know he looks like he's in the best shape of his life look at him on ig man the guy's just yoked and he looks ready to go he's having fun out there so i'm excited for him i'm really going to be looking at him uh when we go to camp because he's looking like he is the real deal man yeah man this might be the first time that he's truly healthy in his career and he gets to get put with all these freaking guys on this defensive end uh, group. He's going to have a big season, guys. Mark our words. What do you think he's going to post as far as sacks slide? Um, You know what? I'm thinking he's probably going to get at least six sacks just because I know Nick Bosa is going to be double team a lot. And... Honestly, he won't be an every down player just because we have so many different fresh guys coming in left and right. You know, one did say one play. It's going to be him. Next play is going to be Kerry Hyder. Next play is going to be Charles Omenehe. Next play is going to be Jordan Willis. Next play, uh, we're going to have our beast. Obviously, Nick Bosa is going to be in there for most of the play. So um, he probably won't get as many uh, uh, looks as the other guys. But I think that he's going to be, be solid enough where he, when he is in there, he's going to make the best use of his time there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man, I could see him getting six and a half sacks, and I think he's going to remind me of a guy who was on the Seahawks, Cliff Abril, who would come in on third downs, and that guy seemed to always get to the ball. I think Ricky and uh, Ture is going to do the exact same thing, but for us 49ers, and he might be one of those pieces that pushes us over the top. Yeah, man, so I can't wait, man. It's going to be really exciting to see what happens, but let us know what you guys think. Are you guys excited as much as we are about Ture? Because I'm telling you, man, I'm really excited. you got to keep an eye on this guy. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace.